Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Hiking with Doc. I'm Doc. And uh, before we get started, just make sure you uh, subscribe if you wish. It really does help me. It doesn't cost you anything. Click the little notification bell if you want to get notified of upcoming videos. And uh, if you like the video, click the like button too and leave me a comment if you want. Um, that helps as well. It helps me get uh, more notification or more traffic, more notoriety on YouTube. So anyway, today we are at uh, Scioto Grove Metro Park. Uh, this is number 17 out of 18 of the Winter Hikes Metro Challenge, or the Metro Parks Challenge, it's a little cold. But anyway, uh, it's a little bit chilly today. It should warm up later today, about uh, 50 degrees, I think, I heard. So anyway, we'll see. Uh, we'll take a look at the map. I'm actually parked uh, right here at the, uh, what do they call this area here? Arrowhead, I think. It's not labeled. But anyway, you can park in any one of these spots along here. Uh, there's a little nature center down here somewhere, I think. Anyway, nature center's down here. Anyway, there's a lone park. It follows the side of the river. Um, this river trail is the one that might be a little bit flooded today. So there might be some ice that goes all the way down. You can see these backpacking sites I'd like to check out. I've seen them before, but I want to get them on video. Anyway, this uh, goes along. There's a little suspension bridge here. Goes out in this field along the river some more. This is kind of open prairie out here. It's a vast open prairie. Comes down and goes around. Mingo Trail, actually. And then, uh, let's see, there's a couple trails out this way disc golf course, archery range, the dog park somewhere in here. Anyway, backpacking site way up here. I'm gonna go check those out. Get them on video for you guys so you can see what they're like. You can reserve them on the uh, Metro Parks website. So anyway, let's get moving. It's cold. Thank you. 
ain't going down there. That sucks. Getting across that. Trail closed. The river's up.
see the suspension bridge right in the center. It's really muddy and wet over there. It's flooded, unfortunately. You can see the river's like right up to the trail here. And the trail, super muddy. Yeah, I've got it all over my boots, but. I'm gonna have to come back here and get a better video of this place. You know, it's careful here. Slip in the mud. Um, it's just flooded, and I I really can only get pictures of one of the campsites, and it's not the best one. So number three I took some video of it. But anyway, it's just really muddy. You know, I, I knew it was going to be this way with the recent flooding, the melting. I mean, look at this trail. You can see where the water was up to. It was at least shoulder high here. At least waist high. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of silt. And it's just really very muddy. I wouldn't recommend coming down here right now. Let it dry off for a bit. Anyway, there's mud. Mice. Get a picture of the river right there. It's cool. Yeah. It's kind of scary down here when the river's up like that. And there's no danger of a flash flood right now. So, and it's really muddy. Anyway, I guess I'm about to the end of the trails I can do here. I mean, there's. The river trail goes down. I can't even get to the Mingo Trail. So. Back to the car, 4.3 miles, Scioto Grove, number 17 out of 18 in my winter hikes. I got one more to go and it's like right by my house, but anyway, unfortunately most of the good trail was flooded and I didn't get to see much of the backpacking trail, but anyway, we'll be back. So uh, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, comment if you like, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.